In this video, I'm going to debunk the 13 biggest fitness myths, running versus walking. Should I eat before I work out or exercise on an empty stomach? Let's trash the bro science and get to the truth. I'm Clint Grimes, and if you want fitness tips and workouts that you can use at home, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Let's get started. Myth number one, you can spot reduce. The scientific consensus among fitness experts and researchers is that spot reducing is an absolute myth. This belief has been evolved from the idea that gaining muscle increases metabolism, resulting in fat reduction. Studies have shown that it is impossible to reduce fat in one area by exercising that body part alone. Fat is lost all over the body at once. Myth number two, you should work out on an empty stomach. The science says you won't lose more fat on an empty stomach than a full one. The Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition found that women lost the same amount of weight and fat with an hour of steady state cardio, whether they ate beforehand or not. And guess what? The same thing holds true for men. No pain, no gain is myth number three. Everybody's heard that one. There's some truth to it. If your goal is to build muscle, your body requires a training stimulus big enough to cause your body to adapt. But these fitness enthusiasts make sure to give their muscles time to recover before their next strength or cardio training session. Learn to know the difference of pain from stimulus and chronic pain from injury. Number four, you should stretch before working out. Dynamic, not static stretching improves range of motion and gets your muscles properly prepared for the exercise and helping them achieve full functionality. The goal is to put blood in the muscles. Leg swings and walking lunges are great dynamic stretches to do before running and other cardio and arm circles can be useful for before lifting upper body weights. Myth number five, heavy weights bulk you up. Well, not exactly. In the final analysis, substantial evidence argues that training in moderate rep range is the best way to build muscle mass. It increases hormone response, spares protein, and provides necessary time under tension to spark muscle damage. These benefits work in unison to get you from pencil neck to powerhouse in no time. Myth number six, machines are better than free weights. Did you know weight machines were actually made for men and not women? Free weight exercises activate more muscle mass than machine exercises, which make them better for building muscle in the long run. To get the best results, you want to do most of your training with free weights and use machines to help grow stubborn muscles. Myth number seven, running on a treadmill is the same as running outside. When it comes to running, terrain is everything. Running on the treadmill is easier than running outdoors. The treadmill belt assists leg turnover making it easier to run faster. Runners find that their pace on the treadmill doesn't correlate to their road pace. Soft tissue conditioning or hardening that occurs with road running does not occur with treadmill running. Myth number eight, you shouldn't work out every day. Well, if you're asking me if you should do the same HIIT workout or weight routine every day, then the answer is absolutely not. Doing the exact same workout two days in a row doesn't allow the muscles time to recover. Repeating a workout on consecutive days can cause your body to grow tired of the workout without seeing benefits like muscle growth. Myth number nine, you can't work out when you're sick. Actually, exercise can help protect you from colds and flu year round. Moderate exercise like 30 to 45 minutes of walking, jogging, or cycling can help ward off sickness. If you're feeling mainly symptoms from the neck up, like nasal congestion or runny nose or a sore throat, a workout can be really helpful. Just make sure you take it easy. Myth number 10, sweating means you're out of shape. Absolutely not. Sweating earlier and more profusely may be a sign of higher fitness level. People who are aerobically fit are more efficient at releasing heat and sweat earlier in a workout than less fit people. If you regularly spend time exercising in the heat, you'll sweat sooner and more profusely because your body is heat acclimated. Myth number 11, crunches are the best exercise for the core. Nope, not true. 
Crunches may feel effective while you're doing them, but they are generally not the best exercise for your abs. Varying the planes of movement, angles, and positions will result in the most benefit for your core. To gain a stronger core, compound movements like squats and deadlifts will strengthen your abs and core. Myth number 12, working out makes you hungry. Well, not necessarily. Your body reacts differently in the hour or so after a bout of tough exercise. Comparing a high intensity workout with weightlifting, aerobic runners are less likely to be hungry than a group of weightlifters after their sessions. This explains why a hardcore hit session doesn't spur an immediate desire to refuel. Myth number 13, running is better than walking. Well, as a matter of fact, it is. Running makes the heart work harder than walking does. But the answer may come down to how much time do you have and can your legs take the pounding? Running is a less efficient movement and it's more demanding on the body so it burns more calories per minute. But if you got the time to walk long enough to burn the equivalent calories, then walking will be fine. Now it's your turn. Go to the comments and tell me which myth fascinates you the most. Then click on this playlist for more fitness tips. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for more fitness tips and workouts you can do at home. That's it. That's all. See you next time.